Bradley tuning in, coming at you with another video. Today we're talking about rentals because rent on average has gone up in the last year, $231 per month, which is crazy. In fact, developers are taking advantage and I would argue, and the point of this video is to explain to you that the landscape of our Toronto real estate could change for quite some time. Uh, and I'm gonna explain how this all ties in in just a second. Before I get started, my name is Bradley Watson. We do these videos every week, giving you advanced tips on how to stay on top of the real estate market here in the GTA. Let me ask you guys a question before I get started. Have you guys been impacted by the prices uh, as far as rent goes, the rent prices uh, in the last year? Or maybe you know someone you can tag down below, but leave us your stories. Let us know what you're facing. Uh, I'd love to hear the day-to-day -day impact of these changes. Now, we did predict that rent would continue to go up in September of last year. You can check out that video. Uh, I'll tag it on our YouTube video. We did it on September 6th. It was called Interest Rates Up, House Prices Up and renters are doomed, but I don't wanna get into the why. I wanna get into how this is impacting things and what opportunities there are for developers, but how our city is going to change, I think quite drastically. Let's start in the condo section. We need to know what trend is happening. Condos make up one third of all supply of rentals in our city, so it's a big segment. Um, now, there's no doubt that there is a demand. In fact, vacancy sits at 1% right now, which is just mind blowing. That's so low. It's so challenging to get yourself into a very good rental these days. Um, now, the average 732 square foot condo has gone up $231 per month. That's an 11.2% increase. Over two years, we've seen it's gone up $367 per month. Imagine your expenses go up almost $400 in, in two years, that's crazy. But um, all of this comes with a giant opportunity for developers. In fact, developers are now saying, you know what, maybe there's another opportunity to get back into this apartment specific building. And in fact, they're being encouraged by CMHC, in fact, being offered $3.75 billion in funding to people looking to build apartment specific units, and they're taking advantage of it. So demand is up, supply is down, especially in the condo sector, but at the same time, funding is now available, and so builders are just, just chomping at the bit to take advantage of this. In fact, and this is where all of the shifts we've seen in the last year, condos go down, the new leases sign, the new starting leases go down 8%, new condo developments go down 28%. But what about in the specific rental units? These apartments being built specifically for rentals have actually increased in droves because they know that this funding only lasts until 2021. We've seen an increase higher, we've seen 69% increase since last year, and the highest, that is the highest amount of new apartments being built in, uh, in the last 30 years. So what's happening here? What we're now seeing, because of all of this, uh, all of these stars being aligned, we're starting to see a transition from people building condos to luxury, quote unquote, apartment rentals, uh, essentially having all the amenities of condos as we would expect them today, but building specifically for apartments because they want to take advantage of this high rent amount. So let me ask you guys a question, knowing that this is the way our city could potentially continue to steer, especially in the, over the next few years, do you think this is going to answer the cry of renters across our city? Or do you think this is just another cash grab for developers? I'd love to hear because there is genuinely an issue with rentals in our city that needs to be addressed. And I'm wondering if this is going to be the solution. Let me know your comments down below. I'll see you next week with more tips and tricks. Take care and keep it real.